Hey, what's up, YouTubers? My name is William Ray, and I decided to take a break from the music stuff. Um, I haven't really uploaded in a long time, so I decided to take one. And seeing as how it is um, nearly the end of 2010, I decided to go another route and not do music, but instead talk about my favorite movies of 2010. I I just wanted to give a quick lowdown on the movies that I really enjoyed in 2010, and I'm definitely really excited for 2011's year in movies. Uh, but with that said, uh, let's go ahead and get this started. Um, I'm going to do the top five of 2010, and uh, we'll start off with uh, the movie that's on my list that came out the most recently that I actually saw. Um, number five is Tron Legacy. Um, I absolutely loved this movie. Um, uh, I've obviously, like, the storyline wasn't all amazing, but um, the visual effects were just uh, freaking awesome. And, uh, I, you know, the, the action in the movie was just really good. Um, I really enjoyed the movie to the point where um, I, of course, wait until, like, you know, five months later when the movie actually comes out on DVD. Um, but in that time, I've already bought, um, the soundtrack, <laughs> I already bought the soundtrack, which, uh, is, um, 22 songs all done by Daft Punk, and, uh, this album is pretty freaking good. Let's just, let's just, let's just put it this way, um, uh, Inception is, is, has been known for having a really amazing soundtrack, uh, for 2010, and... In all truth, after watching Tron listen to the music and on its own, I think actually Tron Legacy soundtrack is it just edges out Inception soundtrack by just a little. Um, you know, so I mean that's definitely got to be saying something at least for this year. But I also, um, I also, um, hang on, I got it right next to me. I also went ahead and uh, you know bought a bought a, the deluxe light disc from uh, Target. It's the one that lights up. The... Fail. Oh snap, it lights up! Oh yeah! You know? Um, so I bought the light disc and um, I got a little overzealous with my money too. So actually today I went out and bought the uh, this is the this one right here is the, the deluxe model, and then this here is the, right here is the basic model. So I can actually throw this thing. This one I can't because if I throw it and somebody messes up and catching it, you know, it'll drop and it'll break, and all the electricity, wonderful lightness thing will be going away. So yeah, um, definitely, uh, definitely, Tron is secured as the number five in my top five. Um, number four was uh, 127 Hours. Uh, this is a movie that uh, features James Franco as the main character. It's about the it's about Aaron Ralston, who's the one guy who was known for uh, uh, falling in a crevice and getting his rock his arm stuck in a rock uh, for 127 hours. And uh, it's just a story about like you know how he you know tried to survive through his whole ordeal. And of course, it features him getting his arm cut off in the scene. So, it's a pretty graphic scene, but uh, it's not just about that scene. It's about, you know, you know, you know, what your mind goes through when you're in a, you know, a type of situation like that. And uh, the way they executed that movie, Danny Boyle was the guy who directed it. And um, he's been known for making really good movies like Slumdog and Train Spotting and 28 Days. So, you know, I was expecting something good out of it, and there definitely was something good out of it. So yeah, definitely, ne definitely number four is 127 hours. Uh, number three is uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. <laughs> um, I saw this movie uh, well um, after it came out on DVD. Um, I saw it at the Crest for like three dollars. Uh, Crest is a local cinema that we have um, in in my hometown, where you can buy, where you can get tickets to a theater movie for only three dollars. Uh, because they are just about to come out on DVD when, at the time that they uh, release it at that cinema. Um, so I watched that movie with a couple friends, and man, that movie just freaking blew my mind with how awesome it was. Um, uh, I just, you know, I love the action, I love the campiness and funny 
funny parts in that movie. Um, there's a lot of video game references in there, so people who are hardcore gamers, especially hardcore gamers from back in the day, you guys are absolutely going to love this movie if you haven't seen it. And I really beg of you to go see that movie. <laughs> um, I was originally turned off by the fact that Michael Cera was in that movie because I really don't like him all that much, but since watching that movie, I'm like, all right, dude. And plus, uh, plus uh, there's uh, other great actors in there, like Brandon Routh is, plays a role in that one, and Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who plays Ramona Flowers in that movie, um, is also a really uh, great character choice. So um, definitely, if you haven't seen Scott Pilgrim, go ahead and watch it. Go to the Redbox. It's only a dollar. You might as well. So yeah, um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, number three. Uh, number two, I'll have to look at my list here. Hang on a second. I can't believe I had to look on that list on that list for that <laughs> for number two. Uh, number two, Toy Story three. Yeah, absolutely. Toy Story three was um, secu is definitely secured in my number two spot. Um, I grew up with the Toy Story franchise, and to see it come full circle with you know Andy just about going into college. Um, and the toys, and the and you know the group of toys having one last adventure. It was it was just a really wonderful experience. Um, I'll try not to spoil it if you guys haven't seen it, but there was a specific part in that movie where um, you know things were just going down and all that stuff. And it, it at that exact point, I honestly believed that right there it was going to end like that. And even if it did actually end like that, it obviously didn't. But like, even if it did end like that, for some reason, I had I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's exactly how this movie should end. I mean, it's 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 you know, it's it's definitely a change from a lot of the Pixar movies that have come out. Um, it's a really dark movie. Um, I mean, compared to other Pixar movies, it's really dark. Um, and but still, nonetheless, it still makes for a great. Um, Pixar movie, and I, in my opinion, it ranks uh, the number one Pixar movie um, that they have ever made. So definitely, Toy Story three, number two. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Watch it today. Download it from your from a torrent site, right, and then get it. Watch it, and then go out and buy it on DVD. Hey, why buy it on DVD? <laughs> Trust me, buy it on DVD. Buy it on Blu-ray if you have a Blu-ray player or a PS3. Do it. <laughs> Yeah, Toy Story 3, number 2. Um, now, before I get to my number 1, uh, I'll have to give an honorable mention, an honorable mention, because uh, since Strong Legacy came out, uh, I had to bump this guy off the list. Um, the honorable mention is Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I, <laughs> I'm in love with Gemma Arterton. Blame it on the accent. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Blame it on the fact that she was awesome in Quantum for the little time that she was in, but... I love Gemma Arterton uh, as Princess Tamina, and so um, she was awesome. Jake Gyllenhaal, you know, I think she he just grew some balls in that in that movie, you know, and uh, was really cool as the prince. Um, so definitely, Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time is definitely worth watching. Um, it stays true to the game for the most part. So um, if you guys are worried about that, definitely, um, it definitely you have my word that the video game little aspect of it is still pretty much intact in that movie. So, yeah. Um, but, that being said, this is number one. I'm going to pick it up wherever it is in my house. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> oh, jeez. My multiple... My big, huge... Selection of DVDs, I can't even find it. Number one, I mentioned it earlier, and I'm going to mention it again because it's number one. Inception! Yay! Inception! Yes, dude. Inception is the number one movie of 2010. There is no doubt in my mind, okay? Leonardo DiCaprio is my hero. And, you know, the other ch other guys in this movie, um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Ellen Page, and Tom Hardy, and uh, Ken Watanabe, all amazing character choices. Um, just It's just overall just a really just 
mind-blowing movie that um, if you have seen it, you guys will definitely agree with me, and if got, and guys who have not seen it will soon agree with me. <laughs> um, the whole the whole concept of this movie, like the whole plot, the whole storyline is just it's just a completely different. Um, a, a completely different story that we haven't seen, you know, we haven't seen really seen a new story come out in a while, um, with much much of the movies just being reha being sequels of other movies. And for this thing to be so original, it's just, it was just a breath of fresh air, especially when I watched it. I watched it the day of, and since then, um, there's been tons of, like, you know, uh, uh, Inception movie quotes and Inception little themes that me and my friends uh, always come up with, you know, like Inception inside jokes. Like, uh, for example, um, <laughs> forgive me if, if I'm not prepared for this. Uh, for example, uh, they talk about totems, which uh, in the movie, totems are supposed to be about, are supposed to be the things that you keep with you at all times to make sure that when you go into the real world, you actually know that you're in the real world, right? So, like, it does something... In the dream world, it's supposed to do something that it doesn't do in the real world. Like, for example, I have a little keychain, Asuka, and Asuka, in the dream world, is supposed to come to life. <laughs> She's supposed to be all animated and all dancing and all that stuff in the real world. But... I mean, in the in dream world, sorry. But in the real world, obviously, she's, she's inanimate. And that's how I know that she that I'm in the real world, not in the dream world. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, definitely, Inception. It's, it's, it's good enough that out of all the movies that are on my top five, I actually bought the movie. So, um, yes, Inception is the number one movie of 2010. Bar none. <laughs> all right. So that's pretty much it. Um, I think uh, on New Year's Eve I'm going to probably make one more video. Uh, yeah, probably one more video. I'm, heck, I, if this uploads quick enough, I might do another one tonight. So, yeah. Um, so this is William Ray. Um, you guys have a good day. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Happy New Year to you guys as well.